Monsieur, je suis ravi d'accueillir à, à Paris euh, mon collègue et ami Kevin Rudd. Je n'ai pas oublié l'hospitalité extrêmement chaleureuse qu'il m'avait réservée à Cambéran en septembre dernier, alors qu'il achevait sa convalescence. Et je suis heureux de l'accueillir aujourd'hui, donc en pleine forme à Paris. Ce matin, nous avons inauguré ensemble une journée consacrée au renforcement de nos échanges universitaires. Bientôt, Campus France, qui est le nouvel organisme français chargé de gérer les bourses de nos étudiants. Donc Campus France ouvrira une antenne à l'Australie avec la volonté de développer ces échanges bilatéraux. Nous avons ensuite commencé nos consultations politiques et nous allons les poursuivre au cours du déjeuner. Je voudrais une fois de plus réaffirmer toute l'importance que la France attache à cette relation bilatérale, mais aussi à nos échanges de vues sur la situation Nationale et, pardon, internationale, régionale et internationale. Nous avons déjà évoqué les questions régionales dans le Pacifique, dans l'océan Indien, vis-à-vis -vis de la Chine, en Birmanie. Kevin Rudd a été un des premiers ministres, je crois, à se rendre récemment en Birmanie. J'y étais moi-même il y a quelques jours. Et puis, au cours du déjeuner, nous aborderons bien sûr tout ce qui concerne la situation en Afghanistan ou au Proche-Orient, nous avons aussi beaucoup de choses à échanger entre nous. J'ai parlé bien évidemment à Kevin Rudd de la situation de la zone euro et des décisions que nous sommes en train de prendre pour ramener le calme dans la situation économique de notre zone. Nous sommes convenus de systématiser ces contacts et d'avoir au moins une fois l'an une rencontre à notre niveau et de demander également à nos collaborateurs de se rencontrer plus fréquemment que ce n'est l'habitude pour échanger de points de vue parce que la France et l'Australie, je crois, ont beaucoup de choses à se dire sur beaucoup de sujets d'importance internationale. Voilà, très brièvement résumé l'état actuel de nos discussions et je suis très heureux de passer la parole à Kevin. Thank you very much, Alain. It is always uh, good to be here at the Quai d'Orsay and to be here in Paris uh, with our good friends in the French government. Um, it was good to also have received you uh, in Australia at the end of last year, uh, and it's good to be back to continue our dialogue here uh, in Paris. Uh, today, after I think 170 years of consular and diplomatic engagement between France and Australia, Uh, we are elevating our relationship to that of a strategic partnership. Now, this is a good thing. Um, it reflects the maturity and the depth and the breadth of this relationship. Uh, we have been with each other in many, many difficult times in the past. We think of the terrible losses suffered by this country in the First World War and the Second World War. In both those great uh, conflagrations, Australian soldiers were with uh, French soldiers in fighting uh, wars for freedom and for liberation. And our sense of solidarity with the French government, the French people, uh, has extended over many, many decades. Geography has separated us, uh, but the thing about globalization is that uh, all the challenges we now face are challenges to be faced and embraced together. Uh, globalization has overcome distance. And that is why this uh, relationship of strategic partnership is so important. It is a relationship which embraces all the things that we now seek to do together, both in uh, political cooperation, in security cooperation, our economic cooperation, what our businesses do together. Australia welcomes so much French investment in Australia and there's more to be done in the economic relationship more broadly. And this morning, uh, a new chapter in our education relationship. This is a, uh, a country of formidable Uh, educational achievement and academic achievement, as is ours, Australia. I think together we can do great things together. Of course, what also unites us are our common democratic values and belief in human rights. And these are values which you do not see as just belonging to our own countries, France and Australia, but values also for the world. 
As uh, the Foreign Minister just indicated, uh, our conversation uh, also focused on the great challenges we now face with the global economy and within that the particular challenges which are confronted here in Europe. These are difficult times. Um, I acknowledge the strength of the leadership provided by France and Germany in what has been a difficult time for Europe. These are challenges though not just for Europe because how these challenges are dealt with affect all of us around the world. Uh, there are difficult decisions which lie ahead but I acknowledge those which have been taken and particularly the decision on the part of Eurozone countries to embrace new regimes of uh, fiscal uh, discipline, as well as the decisions taken uh, to provide uh, greater uh, strength uh, of support uh, for Europe's banking sector through the European Central Bank. Um, there are many decisions which lie ahead. But what I would say to our friends in Europe more broadly and to our friends in France is that we in Australia stand ready to work with you on every practical measure possible uh, to ensure that we get a good landing point, not just for Europe, but as a consequence for the global financial system and the global economy. Let us be clear, the alternative is too ugly to contemplate for us all. And therefore, statesmanship, good policy making, and strong leadership of the type that we have seen from our good friends in Paris and Berlin uh, during the deep challenges which we face most recently uh, is the sort of leadership we need also to continue into the future. Finally, I would like to say um, that uh, a new chapter in our relationship unfolds. Uh, we will, as Alain has just said, be meeting now more frequently, systematically and regularly. Uh, he did indicate to me when he visited me in my convalescence from heart surgery uh, in Australia last September that it was the first time in a quarter of a century, I think, that a French foreign minister had been to our shores. And prior to that, I think it was uh, La Perouse and uh, Baudin and, uh, and Bougainville and, and others. Um, well, that's all behind us. I think we're going to look forward to a much deeper engagement into the future. Australian people have a deep affection for France. Uh, and we see ourselves as partners, not just of France, but more broadly of Europe and the challenges and the opportunities that lie ahead. Our region, Australia, is in the Asia-Pacific region, the dynamic region of the 21st century, which will craft so much of our world's future. But I think there is something strong and good to be done between our two strong democracies to help shape the world's future as well. Hence, our new strategic partnership is important, not just for ourselves, but what we can do together in our regions and in the world together. Thank you, Alain. Thank you.